Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2018 Gold Rush Hall of Fame Autograph Baseballs. It's a half a case, five box, random player break. Number one from jazbeescasebreaks.com. We'll post the second half in a little bit. Um, one spot gets you two players from this list below. It's a pretty good list. So we sold 32 spots, so let's double you up like Sir mix a lot. Let's grab all the names here. And let's double you up. So you'll see Garrett Strauss's uh, last spot mojo star once there and then another time there. All right, let's randomize each list. Two and a one three times. One, two, and three. Andy Owens down to Garrett Strauss. And then three times for the player list. One, two, and three. For it's one, two, three strikes, you're out of the old ball game. Oh, these are last names first. All right, anyhow. All right, so I'm not, I'm not going to read off all these names. However, I will scroll through this list just slowly, just as is, and then I will alphabetize by your first names. All right, there's everybody right there. I'll alphabetize by your first names and then drop the link. Anyone can view. Drop the link in the chat for those of you watching live. All right, so Andy Owens, there you go. There's your guys, Anthony, your peeps, including these guys here. Trades are allowed, of course. It's only a five-box break, one autograph per box. Autograph baseball. Chad, Garrett Strauss, Whitey Ford, Joe DiMaggio are your last spot mojo players. Jack, Justin, it's J Mac, Kevin Crouch. Michael Calder, Stephen Rushing, and Thomas Bove. Vlad Guerrero's Jr.'s kid got a hit, got his first major league hit, a double from what I heard. I haven't seen it yet, but good start to his career. All right, now. Oh, I just missed it. All right, there it is. Let's pop these open. Oh, there's a double right down the right field line. Nice, hustling out of the box, there you go. All right. So you can see there's five boxes on the top right there, and one, two, three, four, five on the bottom right here. So we'll roll the die. And we'll go one, two, three for the top row, four, five, six for the bottom row. And it's one. So we'll save these bottom boxes right here for break two. And these are the ones we're gonna do right now. Kevin Crouch says, Vlad should have had a homer and got robbed. I missed that highlight. Any trades? Looks like no trades. So let's close up that trade window, TWC. All 
Good luck, everyone. Oh, well, that's easy. Any guesses? I was going to do a who am I if it was hard to guess, but... What do we got here? We got some JSA right here, too. Nice. It's obviously Steve Carlton. Pretty easy. And that goes to Michael Calder. Who has the Steve Carlton spot? For break number one. Next one. Wow. Pee Wee Reese. That's pretty cool. Nice. Pee Wee Reese goes to J Mac. Justin with that one. Old Dodger, Pee Wee Reese. All right, next one. So far, so good. Oh, it went. Is Pee -wee, Pee Wee Reese is not still with us, is he? When they get this autograph. Oh yeah, he passed away in 1999, at 81. It's crazy. I think he even played in L.A. for a little bit, too, for a little while, actually. Yeah, that is a sweet hit. Voted into Hall of Fame by the Veterans Committee. It says on Wiki, 1984, 10-time All-Star, world champion. All right, next one is... A little bit harder. Although some of you might know this one. Any guesses there? Any guesses? EA's got it. I was in, yes, EA's got it. He's batted 301, has 2,468 hits, 521 home runs, 1,700 runs, over 1,700 runs batted in. Um, and it was inducted into the Hall of Fame in 2014 with 83.7% first ballot Hall of Famer, Frank Thomas, which goes to Anthony. Nice. Oh, I think... 
Did I show you all the PSA DNA stuff? I don't know where the sticker is. It must be on the other side of that. So, nice. Uh, you must be Michael Collier. Yeah, you're welcome. Thanks for joining the break. You can't win if you don't play. I appreciate you playing. All right, next one. Now, this is easy, too. I'm going to make you guys guess. When was I inducted into the Hall of Fame? 1996 by the Veteran Committee. Nine-time All-Star. Was once an AL wins leader. Three-time strikeout leader. I pitched a perfect game in 1964 and pitched no-hitter in 1958. My number is retired by this team, and I'm on this team's wall of fame. I've played for one, two, three, four, five different teams. No, four different teams. One team twice. Lifetime 327 ERA, 2,855 Ks, 224 wins, 184 losses. Who am I? Wow. I'm the only major leaguer to be elected to both the U.S. Senate and the National Baseball Hall of Fame. That's crazy. He was a member of the U.S. House of Representatives of Kentucky's 4th District, Kentucky Senate from the 11th District, and uh, was a senator for Kentucky from 1999 to 2011. Huh. Nicely done. No, not Negro, not Smoltz. Any any other guesses? Kentuckians, who who was your who was your senator before Rand Paul? <laughs> I feel like every kid should at least know this, just because he was a former baseball player, a Hall of Fame baseball player, nonetheless. Not Bob Feller. Okay, I'll give you teams. I came up with the Tigers, 1955-1963, then the Phillies from 64 to 67, Pirates 68-69, Dodgers in 69 as well. It must, must have been a trade. And then the Phillies again from 70 to 71. I think most of you would know him as a Philly, I think. At least I do. I think he played for the Tigers for longer. There you go, Jack. U.S. Senator and Hall of Famer, Jim Bunning. Nice. And Jim Bunning goes to Anthony. Another one for Anthony. Second baseball. Close, Michael G. All right, and the last baseball. I don't, I don't, I don't think Mitch McConnell was a Hall of Fame ball player, nor was a Strom, Strom Thurmond. Maybe, maybe in like the late eighteen hundreds league for Strom. For the, uh, for the Brooklyn Bridegrooms, maybe. All right, next one. Who are you? All right, this guy. Who am I? Won 314 games, lost 265. Career 311. 
uh, ERA, 3,534 strikeouts, five-time All-Star, two-time Cy Young Award winner in 72 and 78, three-time wins leader, pitched no-hitter on my birthday, September 17th, 1968. How old was I in 1968? 10 or 11 in 1968. My number, this number, is retired by the Giants. I'm on the Giants Wall of Fame and the Indians Hall of Fame, and I was inducted into the Baseball Hall of Fame third ballot. 1991 with 77.2% of the vote. Not Tom Seaver. I played for the Giants. I came up with the Giants. Then played, I played with a ton of teams. Then with the Indians. Then the Rangers. Then the Padres. Then the Rangers for a season. And then midseason to the Yankees. Then the Braves for a season. Then the Mariners. Then the Royals. What did I do in my post-playing career? I retired to my 500-acre farm in Marin County or Martin County, North Carolina, where I grew tobacco and peanuts. Nice. Two things I like. <laughs> but filed for bankruptcy, bankruptcy in 86, then worked for Fiesta Foods as a sales manager, and later in the year, Limestone College in Gaffney, South Carolina, chose Perry to be the college's first baseball coach. Oh, I said his name. <laughs> no, not, not, uh, not Marshall. It's Gaylord Perry. What else did I do? And I play. Uh, I was there. He. I was there until 1991 until I retired, and moved to Spruce Pine at North Carolina. Despite my admission of illegal pitches, I was elected to the Hall of Fame in 1991 as nominated as a finalist for the Major League Baseball All Century Team. There you go. I campaigned for Jesse Helms too, and contemplated a bid for Congress. Didn't end up doing it. Blah, 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 blah. Bill James lists Perry as having the 10th best career of any right-handed starting pitcher and the 50th greatest player at any position. Wow. I feel like he's kind of underrated. All right. Well, there you go, folks. Gaylord Perry. That goes to uh, Chad B. There you go, Chad. Congrats to you. and Thanks, everybody. Uh, the other half of the case you'll see on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Bye-bye.